The kitting feature in Ordoro gives you flexible options for selling your products while also ensuring that your inventory stays accurate. In order for the kitting feature to work well, you need to make sure that you set up your kits correctly. And this is really simple to do within Ordoro and you can even do it in bulk through, a, through our data import. So this tutorial is just going to demonstrate how to create kits. So before we create them, let's kind of just go over the basic kitting scenarios so you can kind of see what a kit is. Um, this first example here, the single level kit, this is probably the most popular view um, or, or type of kit. So what this is, is basically you sell this three in one baseball set, that's one listing on your sales channel. But then you also have this helmet and this bat and this glove that are their own listings. And what this allows you to do is say, if you have three of each of these, they they each show that they have three in stock within this kit's going to show that it has three in stock as well because it's made from those. So basically you can build these kits on the fly. When an order comes in, you just pick whatever you need and then you put the kit together at that point. So this can get more complicated. You can have various components where you're making up a whole product, um, like maybe this handlebar is used across seven different bikes. Um, and you can also have like varying quantities. So if you're doing fractional stuff, people selling seeds, coffee, whatever, um, flour, you can kind of keep track of the fractional amounts. And then some more advanced scenarios, you can put kits within kits. We calculate the inventory between warehouses and, and put the total available between them. Um, and then this fractional scenario where you're storing, you, you st purchase your flour, wheat, whatever seeds in 50 pound bags, but you sell it in one pound bags, but you also sell it in a four pack. So it, it can get pretty complex. Um, if you have questions about these more complex versions, reach out to our team. Um, we can go over them in depth with whatever your scenario is. So we can kind of help you figure out the best way to set up your kits. And then, yeah, bottom line, um, you can manage bulk sales. You can bundle a product that's maybe not selling so well in with other products that are selling better to get it out of stock. Um, there's lots of benefits to kitting. And once again, our team is definitely happy to talk over those benefits with you. So now that we know a little bit about kits, let's go into our account and actually create one. So if I'm in my product section, uh, you'll see I kind of have all of my active products here. I can go to my kits section and see uh, kits that I've already built. And if you expand these rows, you can kind of see uh, how much you have, uh, how much are required of each of the components and also how much you have on hand of those so that you can see how these numbers over here are being calculated. Um, so that's a kit that's already created. Let's go in and create another kit. Maybe, maybe we have this leotard and these belly shoes um, and we want to sell them as a two-pack or it's kind of like a bundled belly set, starter set or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a product. Um, I'm just going to call it starter set. And I see both of those are blue and extra small, so I'm just going to put that it is the starter set in blue. Small. And then I can go ahead and set the weight here if I know what the weight's going to be, the dimensions, if I ship that out on its own, maybe it's that. You can go ahead and set that here, create this product. So now I've got that created. Let me find it here. Okay, so this is the kit, the set, the bundle. So in order to create this bundle, what we're going to do is find the parent SKU, that bundle SKU, and click on it. And we're going to go here into the product detail page. We're going to go to kit options. And this is where we add components. So I'll go ahead and click add components and I can search. So see those were, I had a ballet shoes. And blue extra small. Let me see, I know the other one was blue and extra small as well, right? There we go, there it is. 
Oh, it looks like I already have this kit set up in my account. Okay, so we'll, we'll say it's another item here, some other components going in here. We're going to also include these ballerina bear shoes. So they're getting some blue shoes and some bear shoes. And so I've added both of these to this kit. So I have here, we can see the SKU. If I click on that, it'll take me to that SKU's product detail page. I can see what we have on hand, uh, physically on hand, and what's available to sell of each. And then right here in this quantity needed for kit, this is where we're going to set how many um, go in this kit. So for each of these, the quantity is just one. Um, I could make it 10 or I could make it a fraction. Um, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as one for these, but hit save. And basically this, this kit's created now. Um, you can always add components or remove them if you need to. Um, but what's going to happen for this starter set is I created the kit with these, these two SKUs in it. So it's going to take what is available, the, what's the inventory for these items by how many of these are needed for the kit. So if there were two of this needed for the kit, then I would be able to make 500 with this. And, and you know, maybe I would also need 500 of this to make the full quantity. Um, basically set that here. And this is going to calculate what's available for this SKU. So if we go to resupply options, we'll see how many are calculated as available for it. And that's kind of how you set up the a, a kit from what, the beginning within the UI. I go to the SKUs page, go to kit options, add components, add whatever you want, and then make sure that quantity needed is correct. So then there's also a way to do this in bulk. If you have a lot of kits and you don't want to go through and create them one by one, you can set up a spreadsheet to do that. So you go into data import and go to create kit and then download that example file. And when I open that up, it's gonna have a few example kits in here, which is handy. Um, we'll see the parent SKU here. So this one, it only has one component in it, but this child SKU is a quantity of 10. So it's like a 10 pack of this SKU. This one you see SKU 102 four times. So there's actually one of each of these SKUs that make up this kit. So that's kind of how you build it out. You basically do a line for every component that's in the kit. So we'll do that. And then the quantity of that component needed for the kit. And then whatever parent SKU that is associated with. So this will go ahead and create those kits for you in bulk. And which is parent skew here. And I realized I set that up kind of confusing. So these will obviously be different names. So you have component one, component two, and component three, and they're all part of parent skew. So once you get all of that set up, save this, mm -hmm. and then you can drag it and drop it in here, and that'll go ahead and create all the kits in bulk for you. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.